Steve says this, I was wondering if any of your training philosophies have changed over the years. Well, well absolutely. Um, uh, I'm amazed sometimes when people bring up something that I wrote and it'd be like, yeah, that's just, that's just stupid. I mean, I was, you know, I mean, I, I bought in fully to the workout that shall not be named. I bought in fully to uh, the four minute Tabata idea, which is still, by the way, still has value. Just, you know, about once or twice a month at most. Probably once a month for most people. Um, boy, there's so many. Um, supplements almost entirely. I don't see any value in anymore, which is too bad because I think supplements have a place. I just think that uh, it's it's more important to make sure you get your vegetables and your, your sleep in than it is to take a pill. Um, there's a lot of supplements I regret re recommending. Um, you know, um, eating, eating, uh, a good salad is, is better probably than most supplements. Oh boy. Um, I, I think I used to push, uh, load and going heavy too much. And I've brought, I've come back on that. Um, I have, I think I have a better vision of the role of diet and exercise to the lifetime now. Uh, I think you got up until about age 35 for an untrained, whatever, whatever you want to call that 35 to 40 ish age group, you got to lock down, uh, nutrition up to about 35 or 40 before we talk about exercise that, you know, if you're not eating vegetables, if you don't know, if you don't have the ability to fast between, I didn't say. 16 hour fast. I said, not, you know, basically don't nibble constantly. Um, and then once you hit 35, 40, then actually it becomes more important when you first work with someone to get into the habit of exercise past 35 to 40, whatever that number is. I'm not sure going for a daily walk is getting the habit of a daily walk, the habit of going and getting your strength workout in the habit of, you know, all the other habits, all the good habits, uh, at first might be more important than getting in your, uh, your, your dietary tweaks. Uh, and that is a truth about aging is that you, you, you can't have three hard workouts a week and, you know, lump around the other four. You have to do something every day as you age. And that becomes truer and truer and truer. I think one of the things that's helped me the most, Steve, um, is I have been doing this since 1965. I have my journals, you know, let's reach back and grab a couple of them. You know, I got my journals um, all the way back to 1970, 71. So I can check, check in on my own BS constantly, which really seems to help me a lot. Um, you know, it's hard when the numbers are looking you in the eye. Um, you know, I don't lie to you people about my best lifts. I don't lie to you about my stories. And you can come in and look at my journals and tell me if I'm full of crap or not. So for me, um, I've made a lot of mistakes. But then I was with somebody the other day here. And I brought out my 2000 journal. And I started to laugh because it says there, uh, think, it's, I always start off a journal with uh, a series, a list of things called things I know. <laughs> that sounds weird. But it's what I believe at the time when I write, when I start the new journal. And it's a simple thing. It takes seconds, usually because it's so clear. And in the 2000 one, it says, push, pull, squat. Those are what you need to do, but you need to do them in balance. Well, it took me another 15 or 16 years to clarify that into my movement matrix. But it's there in 2000. It's just not as clear as I want it to be. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's a good question, Steve. And I'm going to... Uh, um, I'll think about that and I'll see if I can come up with some more for you, okay? Thank you. Great question.